morning. So we got back from the beach house late last night, like 11. I think it hurts. Um, and then we went to sleep and here we are. And yesterday the bunks came. I don't even know if I remember to vlog it after all that, but I will show you a setup when we get back to the beach house in a few days. So we go back on Christmas day. Um, we're just back so I can finish off my work. Hamish is finishing off some work at Exo Beauty. This hurts. Every now and then it's like, I don't know, extra painful and then other times I can't even feel it. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, I'm seeing some family on Christmas Eve and then some family on Christmas Day and then we go. So today is my final day of work kind of. I've got Monday as well but I've got a nail appointment and that's when I'm seeing some of my family. So in the morning I'll probably do a little bit of work but we're almost at the end of the working year and I'm so proud of myself. I've put together so many videos for you guys for over Christmas and New Year's and I know this is like the lowest view time the whole year like this has been the least amount of people watching youtube for obvious reasons people are out doing better things and celebrating christmas with their families and stuff but for those of you who do want to watch youtube still i wanted to still be consistent so i hope you guys appreciate it and enjoy it and yeah i hope you like the content because i tried really hard so i'm just gonna make a quick coffee and then film something today and then i'm going to put up my video after that i usually put it up early but i'm gonna actually put it up later this afternoon today um and what else i've got to edit a vlog do some thumbnails check some footage and yeah it's gonna be a busy day but it's friday it's a good day you guys know how i feel about fridays I'm wearing my asmr earrings that's what i call them <laughs> oh there's my let me tell you that I have gone, well, when I was at Beach House, I went up and, ugh, up and down those three sets of stairs, because it's a three-story house, so many times that my calf muscles are freaking tight and in pain. That's how many times we're up and down those freaking stairs. <sighs> so I'm doing some extensions with my hairbrush. I'm just loving extensions lately to make my hair look real thick. You know, I always take these ones that have like four bits and put that across the back of my head and then I stack them. These ones are already like curled at the bottom, but I'll kind of touch them up. Okay, so yeah, today I'm filming my high-end favorites in a full face video, which I'm really looking forward to because it's basically just all my holy grails that I love to use. So yeah. And I don't know what kind of makeup look I want to do. I think I'll just do something glam and smoky. Because I haven't done anything super glam and super smoky in a while. Well, I have. But, like, it's always been kind of themed. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a pop of colour or something. And then the ones at the front. I do, like, the two clips. You can know that if you want. We can know that if you want. I don't bother teasing them and stuff, especially since I'm not even leaving the house. If they fall out, I'll put them back in. But a good tip, because I can't tease my hair, it just doesn't work. Um, you can use dry shampoo. Just chuck in a bunch of dry shampoo on the spot that you want to place it, and it'll like hold it there. Figured that one out the other day. I just used my Numi hair straightener. I've just been using this one lately, because I temporarily lost my... Um, Cloud9, but I found it again. It was in my suitcase. <laughs> but this one's really good. I like it a lot. Lily, what's going on? Oh, thank you. Thanks for the kisses. And I'm just kind of curling the ends with my hair. Just doing random sections. I'm not too careful with it. It's OG. This probably takes me about five minutes. I haven't done my hair like this in ages because I just always thought I can't be bothered. And then I did it again. I was like, Shannon, it takes like no time and it looks so good. I used to style my hair like this when it was naturally long. Louie, I don't want you near the hot tool. Come on. Wake up till like 9 30. Did you? No. He had such a good time at the beach. He met another Italian greyhound. They had a little growl at each other. Such an Italian greyhound thing to do. They don't bite, but 
with other dogs, if they're intimidated, they just bare their teeth. They're like, and like will snarl, but they'll never hurt each other. He's never, ever, ever bitten or hurt another dog. Are you blonde now? But yeah, I used to always style my hair like this when I had long hair, when it was brown and ombre. It was my go-to before uni because it took such little time. It's actually easier than perfectly straightening your hair anyway. So it's like you've got a bit of a natural wave to your hair. It's way simpler. And I figure you lose, use a little bit less heat. Because like, I don't straighten my hair anyway. The only time I style my hair is if it's wavy or curly. Alright guys, I just finished filming using my high-end favourites. I'm feeling a lot more awake now. Thank you to coffee and thank you to talking to the camera. It always makes me feel a little bit more alive. So yeah, um, this is the look I created. Just a really soft glam. I'm obsessed with this kind of makeup. It's kind of like my favourite kind of makeup to do. Like semi-dramatic, but not too over the top. Just wearable, glam, pretty, fresh. Fresh makeup, highlighter, the soft lips. I love everything about it. The lashes as well, a little bit of color. Um, it's definitely like, I guess one of my like go-to looks. You guys know that. If you've been watching me for years, I love a bit of purple in the bottom lash line. I have not done it on my YouTube channel in forever. So I did this look, yeah, using my favorite of 2018 high-end favorite video, favorite photo, favorite fo what? Favorite makeup. What is going through my brain right now? Just got some more mail, got here some mail before, so I'll open some of that later. But right now I'm going to go put up today's video, which is my New Year's look. So that'll be up by the time you watch this, obviously. Make sure you go send it some love. I would really appreciate it, especially right now while, you know, views are down a lot over YouTube. So that would be nice. And yeah, then I'm going to film my fashion overhaul. And then I'm going to edit a vlog and put up a vlog for you guys. And then I need to do some thumbnails and stuff. I think I already told you, but yeah. And tonight Hamish wants me to make my chicken meal that I showed you in my last vlog. So I'll show you how I make it this time more in depth. And I'll track the macro. Bleh, track the mac rows. How cute is this top by the way? This is from my misguided video where you guys chose all of my outfits. I just stood out really quick and I got one of those like pounding headaches in the back of my head. Oh it's gone now normal but yeah um this is that awkward time of the year where i've got heaps of pre-film stuff from while i'm away at the beach house i'm coming back on like the 6th or 7th i think so i'll be resuming my filming then and doing my i'll be redoing re re resuming my zodiac series and also i'll be doing a video on the ri rich what rich rich my brain doesn't work today the um new Too Faced collection rich something I don't know. And also the James Charles palette, then um, eye primer I bought. That's meant to be like the world's best eye primer. And yeah, but the Zodiac's the main one that I need to get back onto. And declutters. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go film my Fashion Nova video now. I'm doing an Instagram story haul, so I might as well show you here too. It's not sponsored. This is from Mesh Gear. I got this as a alternative to my, um, where did I get it from? Show Pro outfit. I got a size medium. It's quite tight, but like, I don't know, I kind of like it a bit tighter. Well, I need to pull this down a bit. It's like wrinkling up. It's got like the bodysuit underneath, so you can see some bummage, but I don't know, I love it. It looks better with heels on. It's so cute and so shiny. Currently editing a vlog. I just did a gigantic rant on my Instagram story, and I'm gonna test this out, because sometimes I feel like, you know, I put like some really good stuff on my Instagram stories, right? And then, I forget to vlog about it or vice versa and stuff so sometimes I reckon if I have some really good content on my Instagram story I'm gonna slip it into the vlog and if you've already seen it you can just skip forward a little bit you know on the app on YouTube I don't know if you guys know this I'm sure you do but you can double tap on the left and right side of the screen to fast forward and go backwards 15 seconds it's very handy but yeah so feel free to skip this part if you follow me religiously on Instagram stories but for those of you who don't then I just want you guys to hear this okay I've been getting a lot of DMs of people saying that, you know, seeing me be confident in what I wear has helped them to be confident. That makes me so happy because literally even when I was like super, super, super slim, I was not even confident wearing a lot of things and a lot of like swimsuits and stuff. It's all from with a huge mental battle. It's all in your brain. Like if you want to wear a bikini, you can wear a bikini. I don't care how big or how tiny you are. It's all in your head. Like just rock it and try to think positive thoughts and that's where the confidence comes from. I definitely believe that loving yourself is 100% a choice and I know it's easier said than done because I've had that battle in the past but just 
love yourself, think positive thoughts about yourself, just be gentle on yourself and do the best for your own body. Yeah. I uploaded an Instagram bikini photo the other day and so many people were like, oh my gosh, it's so nice seeing like someone like you. And you know, like I got a lot of comments about my body and it was really nice. Like I love those comments because it does make me feel good. But the thing is like, just because I am more of a curvy figure or whatever, I'm not like a size six. I'm not like perfect. I'm not washboard abs or anything like that. It's like people instantly, I guess people are like, oh my gosh, that looks like me. Like that's someone that has a similar body to me. You know, and that's the reality. Not everyone has freaking abs and the perfect body like on Instagram. Like, so yeah, I don't know. We all just need to be happier with ourselves. I'm gonna link one of my favorite girls on Instagram who really like helped me feel more confident as well. She's so like down to earth and just like, I don't know. It's just real, you know? Like I hate saying that because like everyone's real, but like, you know what I mean? Like I say, I know it's easier said than done, but all I'm trying to say here is it's freaking summer here in New Zealand anyway. I mean, maybe if you live in like Canada, you don't want to get in a bikini right now, but you know, <laughs> who cares? It's bikini season, put a bikini on, boom, bikini body. And I've been doing keto and everything. I've lost a little bit of weight, a little bit of measurements and stuff, but honestly, the real difference has been within my mind. I have felt so much more energetic and positive and just better in every aspect of my being. Like mentally I'm feeling so good and it's reflecting and how I reflect and that just cut me off. It's been like reflected, like my mental health right now has been reflected in my body. Like even though I'm not a friggin' like, you know, Instagram perfect body, just because my mental health has been so good, I've been more confident with every aspect of my body. I don't aspire to be, you know, a Kim Kardashian. That's not my body and my body literally would not look like that ever unless I paid hundreds of thousands of dollars probably to like literally get some surgeon to make it happen. Everyone's body is so different. Yeah, that's my TED talk. The way when I was talking about Chessie before, what I meant by, you know, everyone's real and like she's real. I don't mean her body is real because I, everybody is real. Some people are thin, some people are thick, some people are curvy, some people are straight, everyone is different. I mean, her personality is real. <laughs> One thing I hate is body discrimination because everybody, like I said before, everybody is so different. Like, like I said myself, I'm never gonna look like a certain person. I am myself, my body structure, my little bones are different. Like, every some people are naturally thin, some people are naturally on a heavier side, like literally. There's nothing wrong with anything like that. As long as you do the best to keep yourself healthy, active, mentally healthy, that's all that freaking matters, who cares? And the most important thing that is gonna keep you healthy is self-love. I honestly think that. I think just loving yourself and doing the best for yourself is the best way, <laughs> honestly. I sound corn right now, but it's true. Reading your comments in my DMs right now, I replied, replied, <laughs> replied to a couple, but I love you guys and I'm glad that, you know, this did help some of you out and make some of you happy. <laughs> Can I just say how happy I am to finally feel, like, energetic? It's been so long since I've genuinely had such a positive energy about me. It's crazy. Hey guys, so I'm back home. I basically, like the reason you're seeing the footage in the beginning of this video is because basically I just was working, working, working up until like Christmas Eve, when I spent Christmas Eve night with my family and got my nails done and everything. Um, then Christmas I obviously was spending time with family, went to the beach house and I decided while I was at the beach house I was going to relax and that's what I did and I felt so good for it. So I'm back with a vengeance. <laughs> I'm just staying vlogging now. I actually got home end of last week. It's now Tuesday. The day you're watching this video is the day it's going up, you know, the day I'm filming this, you know. <sighs> I've got purple stuff on my skin. I washed my hair today for the first time in like days. <laughs> I've just been relaxing, getting back into work. Yesterday I had the worst hay fever of my life. I still did this morning too, but I had a really hot shower and like got all the shit out of my nose. Um, so if my eyes look a bit red, and swollen that's why yesterday i also dropped my camera and snapped off my lens the whole lens snapped can you believe it i'm devastated but i ordered a new one i've just got to wait like five business days for it to arrive it said three to five business days i'm assuming it's going to take more than that because it's coming from the usa i've got so many ideas and so many videos i want to film and i can't do it because i've got no camera lens except a really hard out zoomed in one which just won't work. I just thought I'd pop in here and give you a little update and 
say hello because they missed you guys so much. If you have any questions about um, my New Year's or Christmas or what happened with keto, blah, 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 blah. Like, I'm still doing keto, by the way. But just any questions about anything like that, just feel free to leave them in the comments. And I'll answer them in my next vlog because I have already talked a little bit about it on my stories. I don't really know what you guys want to hear because I know some of you guys don't like hearing keto updates. You know, this arrived this morning. I've not peeked yet. I just wanted to open it with you guys on camera. I haven't actually seen much. Oh my god, I can't even get it open. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Let me know if you guys want some lip swatches or anything. These colors look stunning. Just mostly like wearable shades. This one looks nice. I'm so excited to try these. I love Natasha Denona makeup. Very expensive, but <laughs> I like it. Hey, Lou. Look at all the fluff everywhere. Louis is being real fussy with his food lately and I don't know why. So like he won't finish his breakfast and then he wants it like halfway through the day. And I tried just to like not give it to him but he literally ate none of it this morning. It's so weird. Yoga while eating. I'm not sure if that's a wise decision, Louis. Sephora Australia officially carries shape tape. So there you go, guys. Oh my gosh, did they just send... What is this? Oh, okay. So we've got a base tape, hydrating primer, shape tape concealer, sponge, prime balm. I don't even know what that is. Setting powder. Amazing. And Crystal has launched her new brand of lashes and brushes. Thank you so much, Crystal. I love the packaging. Love the color theme, the pink and the rose gold. So cute. I haven't looked in here yet. Eh. And then there's some pink brushes with the rose gold. Super cute. So for lunch today, I pre-made this yesterday. It's just chicken, bacon, parmesan, cheese, um, what is that? Onion and loads of lettuce. And I'm going to add in some mayo. People always ask what mayo I use. I just use this one. It's got bad oil in it, but YOLO. <laughs> I'm not that hardcore right now. I forgot. I also added in half an avocado as well. Yeah, hopefully I'm filming myself right now. It's not my viewfinder out. I'm just walking into my filming room and I've got like a million drinks in my hand. Oh, use my elbow to open the door. I just really feel like playing with makeup. I just actually spent like two or three hours cleaning. Um, and I was going to clean my beauty room next, but I just am all cleaned out. I really ran my distance. So I think I'm going to do a little makeup live stream and just enjoy my afternoon because I just love live streaming. Um, and I just feel like talking to you guys since I can't film a YouTube video. This is the best thing I can do right now. And then I think later me and Hamish are going to take the dogs for a W. And then... Who knows? Maybe I'll do some cod later or something. Cook dinner, edit this vlog and get it up for you guys. So I just finished my live stream. Here is my makeup of the day. I will put the link to the live stream in the comments if you want to go watch it. You can see what I used and everything and catch up on the chats and everything. Um, you can even see the comments of what people are writing as well. Like, so you can kind of pretend like you're there in real time. <laughs> ah, the cloth keeps getting stuck in my teeth. Amish came home and started cooking while I was doing my live stream. Look, cabbage and broccoli. I mean, <laughs> cauliflower. This thing's the best, by the way, you guys. You need to buy one. The George Foreman steamer. We use it, like, all the time and we have for years. It's, like, the best thing. We even bought one for the beach house. But it's white and it has a timer. It's just as good. I always film my I don't know if beans. these beans... I don't... This is a new because I haven't had beans like this. So hopefully that's how you do these. Do you have to cut them in half? Nah. No. Are they peas? No, they're not peas, they're beans. The lady Flat at Countdown beans. gave us these instead of the normal beans because like Countdown literally has no produce at the moment. They've got like no asparagus, no beans, no spinach, barely any lettuce, spinach. no pumpkins, nothing. Nothing at all. Maybe I'll just put them in next to the broccoli because you'll probably have to cook them for a while. Cauliflower. Ah, cauliflower, sorry. Yeah. What you doing? Zeus. So he's put on some uh, weight at the beach house because he was eating Bo's food. No, he was eating Louis's food. And Louis's food. Hey Zeus, come here. Yeah. Are you doing extra for your lunch tomorrow as well? Not really. Maybe just, oh, okay. It's okay. You can always make it with salad. Come here. I'll just make it salad for lunch. Yeah. Uh. Hi. He just wants food. He wants bean. How are we gonna take him? Yeah. Okay, you can tell them. Yeah, there's lettuce, there's tomato, oh, avocado. Yeah. yeah, you can do that. Hi. Do you guys wanna go for a 
So this is like, yeah, what? Do you guys want to go for a walk? Yeah, for what? Who's keen? Walkies? Do you go for a walk? Yeah, you do. It's nice. Zeus is like, you know, I'd rather just stay home in the air conditioning, but I guess. True. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, you're so dramatic. Get Lou. Good boy. Pick up. Louie, come back. Here. Come here. 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 Come on. Come on. Do you want to go or not? Come here. Come on. Here. Oh, you're so lazy. Which one do you want it on? Yes, it's very exciting. Look well, guys, the day we got Louie. <laughs> and Fluffy Zeus. You just have to be patient. We're about to go. Look how cute Zeus is. Is he not the cutest fluffy dog you've ever seen in your life? Hey. Don't need to cry. You're the little ducks. Go on in. He's out. <laughs> You can tell they're young, they're very small and kind of fluffy still. Oh, that one behind that one's really cute. Uh, uh, yeah. He's hot, look. <laughs> so he's peeing on everything as per normal. Just, no, I'll just make it tomorrow then. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my cheese sauce, keto friendly, cream, about this much cream cheese, a couple of tablespoons, cheese, I just use the pre grade it's got a little bit of flour and stuff in it but it's still less than one gram net carbs so I don't care, and maybe a tablespoon of butter, so you melt the butter, and I'm using like a medium low heat, and then a bit of cream, I use like a, I don't know, a couple of dollops, Use more cream if you want like more cheese sauce basically. This is the liquidy factor. And then add in your cream cheese. And the more cream cheese, the stronger it will taste. So, you know, you can just experiment with it. I'm doing about that much. And then just melt that and stir it together until it starts to simmer. We're cooking mince for lunch tomorrow at the moment. Keep stirring it until there's no clumps, of course. So it's all melted together. Also add salt and pepper to this because it just is very cheesy and I feel like pepper tastes really good with cheesy stuff. And it's all like thicken up as like it simmers. And then once it kind of looks like this, I just turn off the heat and I add my cheese. I don't even really know how much I put in. Maybe like a third of a cup or something. And then just whisk it until it melts. Yum, and we have some leftovers as well. Perfect. So I'm going to, where is the lighting? I'm going to end the vlog here so I can edit it and get it up for you. I hope you guys enjoyed.